Now bless this me 
being, that's all that is certain. Everything we do, every song we sing, every word we say, we honor you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh.
since I'm since this coronavirus been going on, God has blessed me that every day when I go up to the human and check on the patients on the human and make sure they have the correct equipment in the rooms for them and make sure that not only them but the co-workers are protected. Right. Um, God has blessed me so far. I haven't had any symptoms and I haven't been sick. And I know it's because of God's grace. Right. But I want to talk to you about social distancing. You need to maintain at least six feet apart. Please wear your mask. We'll be checking your temperatures in the back. If you feel that you have fever, please do not come in to our sanctuary, to our church, listen to us online because we want to not only protect you, we want to protect other people. We don't want to be selfish. Always use your hand sanitizer. My advice to you that wherever you go, you need to keep some in your purse. You need to always keep some in your purse. Do not wear gloves when you're out because you're contaminating um, other services and you're contaminating other people. So don't wear gloves. It's best to use a hand sanitizer and whenever possible, use soap and water. Um, if you're coughing or sneezing, remember to cover your cough. If you are sneezing, remember to cover your mouth and sneeze. Um, also, um, when you're around other uh, people, if you're going to come shake hands, just kind of on elbows with everybody. Because we're still, they're looking for another service to call the come in October. They're telling the hospital to get prepared because this is winter months. And it may be double. And we're hoping and praying that it doesn't happen. But looking at the numbers that's coming into the hospital right now, they're increasing every day. Uh, we just don't have as many people that are sick in the hospital like it was. And it's the young people going out, not obeying social distancing, going out and bringing it into the older people able to resist the disease process because of what's turning into a young person. Young person may not even have any signs or symptoms and then they give it to an older adult. And we as African Americans, the reason why we are more susceptible to disease is because we have hypertension, diabetes, we may have a, a low immune immunity, which necessarily doesn't mean that you um, have HIV or anything like that. You can have home toward all right. And you're taking off critic right. medicine, so right. that lowers your immunity. So um, one of the reasons why I can say that is because I have a low immunity, so I have to protect myself at all times. Um, I just want to say we want to continue to praise the Lord in the sanctuary. Um, let's be mindful of the people not want to be closed because we're being disobedient. So let's all pray together. Amen. Amen. Amen.
we got a new air conditioning unit right up there. Already bought, already paid for, and it's already been installed. But that's because of our giving that we've been doing. I had someone online call me, actually called my wife this week, and they said, I just want to make sure they don't, they, don't, they haven't been to church here yet, and I'm aware. Right. Right. They've just been, been with us online. They called this week and said, I just want to make sure y'all are getting my offering. I'm sending online via Giftify. Y'all getting it? Uh, and, and, and we said, Amen. We get it. So you got the right one. So thank you, one that that uh, online that are giving and being a part of our giving. We appreciate you, and we thank you for being a part of this particular ministry in the giving. Thank you. That is all that if we serve everyone, if we serve everyone, uh, then we'll pray. A couple of things that are going on. Do you have announcements? You have announcements. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll do it. I'll do it next week. You'll be prepared for whatever uh, announcements that we have. Um, pray. Let's pray over this offering. Lord, thank you for your blessing. Thank you for everyone that has given. Lord, all of everyone that are uh, faithful and giving. But Lord, everyone that, that had to give. Lord, you gave it to us, and we appreciate it. Now bless us. We pray and bless this offering. We pray. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. By way of announcements, uh, we have mentioned to you. And had been mentioning about the Mississippi and Western Tennessee District Council. That will be a virtual council. That, that uh, will be a virtual meeting. I can, we can email anyone that wants this information. If you want this information, we can email it to you so you can have it. But we also have been, I think, she, uh, she's having it on the board here, uh, some information. But if you want it for yourself, so you can know personally as to what time or what evening you want to look, you want to check on. Uh, check in and see what's going on and how, how things are going. But you want to hear someone speak on certain subjects, uh, which is quite a few, quite some good stuff, but really truly uh, that I'm seeing on here as well as the seminar that concerns some good, some good things that uh, are being uh, put forth here. So, also, ministers, if there are any ministers that want to get the license, uh, we, uh, uh, the, the, the council is still assisting with licenses and applications to provide to you. So we can do that if you should need to do that. But, but uh, the council will begin. We'll begin on Monday. Well, really, truly, Monday is an executive board meeting. But, but Tuesday is when you will be able to actually come online to be able to see what, what the services are. It's starting at 11 o'clock on our Facebook page, the Mississippi and Western Tennessee District Council Facebook page. If you go to that page, you'll be able to see those meetings and those things that are going on. Because, because we're having our council this week, I will not do Bible class on Wednesday night. There will not be, we will not do a virtual Bible class here. We want to fulfill our Bible class and allow you to have an opportunity to, to uh, visit uh, with whatever is going on online with our council. This is council week. Um, our church is still uh, required. We're still, in, and, and, we're, and we put the word out. We're asking every church still, because even though we're not meeting, there's still a bunch of some costs will not be as many costs, but there are some costs that, that are still associated with any time we have services, any time we have meetings there. And then in June every year, because we are in, in an associate church, and the district organization, which is a part of the grand organization, the PAW's principal assembly of the world, we have to pay some additional fund fees that, are, are, that we have to give to the national body. So we are doing that, we are doing that, and we are in good standing. Our church is in good standing. We are in good financial standing. We met with the trustees a couple of weeks ago now, and, and we just kind of looked at some things that we had, been kind of talking about some things as we move forward. But the one thing that's important that, that we want to make sure that you all are aware of we are, that, that we're in good financial standing. Our church is doing really well, and we thank God for it. There's some things that we got for projects that are going to be coming up. In fact, one of the things that you'll be able to see, uh, hopefully, as soon as, 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 as one of the contractors when we get to it, you're going to, you're going to be able to see that our church, our church has been painted on the outside. The exterior of our church is going to be painted. We, that's going to be a painting project that, that's going to be happening uh, here. Uh, it's not, so so it, 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 you, I don't know what you know it's going to but it's, it's kind of two tones out there. Or, or maybe, maybe they have three tones on it now. But anyway. <laughs> more than one tone out there. We, we, so we're going to paint and, 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 and do 
with some upkeep to our building. That, that's, the, that's the thing about buildings, right? If you have a house, you build them new, or you, or you, or you moved into it, or you bought it new, uh, at some point you want to do some upkeep on it. And, and that's the thing, and that's the thing that we're doing. We're, we're trying to do our very best to keep our building. We have a beautiful sanctuary, a beautiful uh, church facilities here, and we thank the Lord for it. Uh, but we have to do our very best to continue to keep that up. And that's what we're doing. That, and and that's, that's, really, that's some of the things that we're doing. I, I won't go through all, everything on regarding our council uh, and all of those things. As I said, as I mentioned earlier, that um, you, you, can, you can go online and see that. You're ready to get that. But I tell you what, before, before the ministry of the word, I want to do something. I want to do something today. Uh, all of those things, if you sing it with us, I'm going to get calm real quick. I want to bless the Lord with one song. We're going to space out here. So come on up here really quick. And let's, we're going to sing a song together. We're going to sing a song. A song together. You sing with us. Come on, singers. All of us sing it. We're going to sing really quick. And then we're going, to, we're going to go right from there into the ministry of the Word. Thank you.
spend a certain amount of money to get what I'm seeking after, then I, that, that sacrifice is not too great for me. Uh, I'm willing to do that because I want that thing. I want that. Listen, I, 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 I brought up that word, which is an important word. It's an important word, the word sacrifice. I brought up that word because I, I bring it up because to have certain things in life, to have certain things, it requires us to have a certain or to perform or be willing to, to do a certain amount of sacrifice, right? right. Ah, Lord have mercy. If I want certain things, it requires certain sacrifice. If I want little things, then probably all I have to do is just a little sacrifice is necessary. If I want big things, then I have to be willing to make the big sacrifice, whatever that big sacrifice is. If I want, I'm talking about seeking Jesus today. If I want, uh, Lord have mercy, the other things, then I have to be willing to make a sacrifice, little things, uh, little sacrifices, big things, big sacrifices. If I'm going to make the ultimate sacrifice, then the only thing that limits what I'm able to achieve or able to have is the magnitude of that which is sacrifice. I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying there. Uh, whenever the ultimate sacrifice is made, you've heard that term pushed around sometimes about the ultimate sacrifice that, that people that may be serving it and, 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 and either military or serving uh, police, uh, the Lord have mercy, which is uh, a tough area to be in right now. Yeah. But but yeah. they sometimes have to be willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, if in order to achieve what you you you, you want, uh, then if depending on what you want, what you desire, then I'm willing to make the ultimate sacrifice for. It. Uh, if I want that thing, if I really want that thing, then I'm willing to make whatever that sacrifice is necessary. Listen, if you ever hear people talking about they want something and, and they're not really, and, and they ain't doing nothing, they ain't really willing to do nothing, then really and truly you just hear somebody doing a big lot of talk. For example, I said I wanted to lose 10 pounds. That's what I said. I said, you know, I looked at got on the scale and looked at that number and looked like it all be it's over at least by ten pounds more than all of it. So I said I need to lose ten pounds. So 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 if I'm going to actually accomplish that, then I'm gonna to have to be willing to make at least ten pounds of sacrifice. Yeah. Ah Lord have mercy. I'm gonna to have to be willing to make the sacrifice to get there. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be talking about it and never actually accomplishing what I've been talking about. It's not going to happen. So I thank the Lord I got up this morning and I said, hmm, I still look like a little slap on <laughs> Ah, yeah, like I'm going in the right direction. John, yeah, I look like I'm going in the right direction. Oh, my goodness. Whenever we just talk about things and not willing to do what we really actually make, really to support what we're talking about, willing to put our money where our mouth is, if we're not willing to do that, then it's simply we're just having a conversation. It's not anything that's going to come to anything because we're not really ready for that thing. We're, really, we're, we're just talking about it in our minds. Uh, Jesus said it like this. He said, it's a people, it's a group of folk that draw nigh to me with their mouths. They honor me with their lips, but their heart, uh, they don't really have a heart. For God. Right. They're not they're really after God. They, they, just have, they just want a good talk. Right. Uh, I don't want to be in a group that's just simply talking about Jesus. Uh, I, want to, I want to possess Jesus. That's the reason I'm here today. And that's the reason you're here. We're seeking Jesus today. God have mercy. Seeking after the Lord. Uh, Lord, listen, if we are willing to make substantial change, uh, if we are willing to make those substantial change, if we're willing to make those substantial sacrifices, then substantial change can be gained as a result of us making those substantial sacrifices. Right. 
Uh, in life, really, if you'll notice, nothing really happens unless uh, those that are really seeking something are willing to make uh, the, the sacrifice necessary. Right. Oh, my goodness. My brothers and sisters, I don't, I don't know if you, 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 you can really see what I'm doing. We, we got, a, we got a, a, a movement going on right now in our life that's because right. of this, that, that's been triggered by this George Floyd situation. Uh, it, it took a situation like that, really, just to knock the cap off the problem. It's been there all the time. Right. It's been a problem all the time, but 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 but, but, but that, that situation, us seeing it with our eyes, yeah. kind of triggered something in folks that said, "We don't, we just can't put up with this." Yeah. Uh, Lord have mercy. So, but but sacrifices have to be made, and, and significant sacrifices have to be made if certain things are going to change. Right. Uh, Lord, my person, if, 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 if you ain't willing to make that significant sacrifice, uh, then you may not be really ready to change. You right. see, don't, don't tell me that you're seeking Jesus and you're not willing to do anything, you're not, and, and Jesus is over there and you're over young. Uh, Lord, it, it, whenever I get to seeking stuff, that I really desire and that I really want, I'm willing to make the sacrifice to go where that thing is. That's right. If I want some milk, Thank you. I know that if I want some milk, I don't go to the fish bank to get milk. I go to the grocery store to get me some milk. If that's what I want, if that's really what I'm seeking. If I'm talking about I want some milk, but I'm down at the fish bank, I may want fish. I'm just talking about I want milk. That's right. I'm just talking about that conversation. I'm trying to help with that. I believe the Lord is going to help us. That we just can't be, it, it's just not a situation where we can just be having a conversation, but we got to put some effort into it. It requires something. Oh, uh, Lord have mercy. This situation with obtaining Jesus and obtaining a relationship with God. It requires something of That's right. Uh, Lord, and, 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 and guess how much I'm going to get out of out of this relationship as much as I'm willing to put in. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton, he came up with a law. He said, he said something like this. I didn't, I didn't do good in this class. I don't know exactly what he said. I read it one time. But, but he, he, he said, came up with a law. He said, for every action, there's an Equal and opposite reaction. Right. Lord have mercy. So if so, so, so basically, what I, how much am I willing to put into it will dictate how much I will be able to get out of. Oh uh, Lord have mercy. If I'm willing to put a little bit in, a little sacrifice, then I can get a little bit out of it. But if I want to put something big, in, right, right. I want to go big. And guess what? I can get out of this relationship with God. I can get some big results. If I'm willing to make the ultimate sacrifice, Lord, whatever you whatever you desire for me, Lord. Oh Lord, you take me, you take me, Lord, you make me what you desire of me. Whatever you want to do with me, God, I want you to do that. If I'm willing to make that, guess what? I can get anything from God that He has. Oh Lord, I heard it. Oh Lord, I just bless you, Lord. Years ago, years ago. I, when I got in, this came into church, got into holiness, and some years ago, thank the Lord for what I'm glad about being introduced to holiness, sanctification, oneness, you know, you, that, that any, whatever title you want to apply to it. I, when I got into church, there was a song that was singing up, you probably have heard of it, it says, I don't know what you're going to do. Uh, but, but I can't. I can't even praise the Lord. That was the song we were singing, man. That, that was back in the 80s when I got in and, and, and told it that, 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 that at least that song that we probably being sang earlier than that. But, but when I got in, I remember that being one of the favorite songs of the people that were doing the praise church. And they were singing that song. That Sister Jackie, they grab it. They go with it. I don't know what you're going to do. And I, I can't even praise the Lord. Now, the reason I bring that song God is for really for two reasons that oftentimes people come to church, but they come for different purposes. That's right. 
And I, I bring it up because sometimes folks come for different reasons. You, you, you think they, they came because they came to bless the Lord and they get into the, to, to, be, to worship, but really to, that wasn't the reason the purpose that was coming. Uh, that was, it wasn't it. But so I, 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 I brought that song to, to, to really just talk about that too, because um, it's, a, it's an unfortunate reality that oftentimes people find themselves in a place in, in, in the church, they really are not really seeking God. Oh, Lord, please help me, Jesus. It's a, it, 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 but that's not our reality. That does not have to be our reality. We got to know whenever they come. I can't right, bless it. Right, I can't right. honor God with all that I have. Oh, I'm Hallelujah. seeking Jesus. Bless I can't speak to Jesus. That's the reason I bring that song up. It's really, truly uh, to, to really to bring contrast to that song. Mm -hmm. And really get to our lesson, what I brought up in Matthew chapter number 28 and verse 5. Uh, because the Bible talks about the women that came, the Bible calls them, it, it really says the women, it says Mary Magdalene and the other Mary that came that morning. And, and the Bible said the angel saw them and said, I know what's going on. You see the kids. I know what's going on. I know why you're here. Right. I know exactly why you're here. You are here seeking Jesus. They may not have known all that was going to transpire as right. a result of getting right. into God's presence or getting into the place where God was. They may not have known all that was going to happen in their lives. But my brothers and sisters, uh, they did know that I wanted to be in the place where God is. I'm telling you, don't tell me you want to be, you want, you want God and you're not in the place where God is. Right. Uh, I found out he was over there, so that's the reason I'm going over there, right. because I want to be in the presence in the place yeah. where God is. Yeah. Mary Magdalene, as some of us will remember, you read the scripture, you remember this from Sunday school, she was one of the ones that, that, was, that had, I think, about seven demons cast out of her, uh, as the scripture says. So she had had a prior encounter with Jesus. She's already met him before. Now she's finding herself because of that situation that happened that time with, with, with meeting Jesus and seeing the thing that he done. She now knows that he's been he, he died, and now she's still seeking him. She's going to the grave site where he is. The Bible refers to the other woman simply as the other Mary. There was two women that were there, the, the other Mary, not quite sure who exactly who this Mary was, um, and, but, but, but I like that she's likely someone else who has had an encounter right. with Jesus before. Thank In fact, uh, Lord have mercy, it, it, it's just something about having an encounter with Jesus, right? I'm telling you, our, our lives are never the same. I, I don't care where you go, I don't care what you do, uh, but our lives are forever change. Yeah. Even after encountering Jesus, oh, if we go back to doing what we used to do, if we go back to smoking, we go back to lying, we go back to cursing, we go back to hoarding, whatever we go back to doing, if we decide to go back to our lives, another change. Another same. Oh, Lord have mercy. Because of that encounter with Jesus, and that's what it happened with these women that, that came to the grave site. They had an encounter with the Lord. Yeah. Now they find themselves seeking God. Yeah. So I, I found that he was dead, but I, I, I still want to go where he oh, is. Jesus. Ah, Lord have mercy. Going to where the Lord is, God have mercy. So, so they, this other Mary, this other Mary, which is the other woman, I suspect she possibly, now I think she's probably the sister of Latin. I think that's the Mary, that's the sister of Lazarus. And what has happened, this Mary that came with Mary Magdalene, she has remembered the time and the, the time when she had an encounter with God and with Jesus when he was on earth. She said, I remember when he came that day to Lazarus. He came that day, and when he came, I went and got uh, the alabaster box. I went and got the box with the precious oil and the ointment, and it took me a long time. I had to make a, it was a big sacrifice I was about to make, but it took me a long time to get that stuff together. But but I'm willing to do it because of the presence of the Lord. I mean, his, his presence right now. I'm willing to do whatever is necessary because I'm in God's presence right now. So, see, Jesus comes through the house, and when he 
gets there, she goes and gets the bottle, the alabaster bottle, the precious ointment, the precious oil in that particular box. And what she does, she breaks it in God's presence. She breaks it. Hallelujah. Now, Lord, have mercy. Lord, like then she takes her hand. She takes her hand. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. And she takes her hair that God gave her. I told you, if Jesus. God gave it to you, just use what you got. You use whatever you have, brother. Just use whatever God has given you. Just use whatever He's with. Just be willing to make the sacrifice. I'm willing to use whatever God has given me. Now I'm in His presence right now, saying, and if I get in His presence, I'm going to use everything He's given me. So she takes the oil. Now I love that verse. She takes the oil and she eats. Oh God, she takes it and puts it on. And she takes that oil on her hair. And she begins to wipe Jesus' feet with her hair. Do you see it? Oh, God, I bless your name. Oh, I thank you, God. She's so happy to be in his presence, saying, She was holding nothing from God. She said, I don't care what I do, it cost me a lot. It was a major sacrifice to have to make. But I'm willing to make the sacrifice. Ah, I'm telling you, a little sacrifice. A ah, little game, a big sacrifice. I can get something big from God. If I'm willing to make the ultimate sacrifice, I'm willing to withhold nothing from it. Ah, Lord, have mercy. There's absolutely nothing that He will withhold from me. No good thing will He withhold from me. So will He break that alabaster. She takes the precious oil out of it and she uses the hair. And she began to offer to God that thing that he's given her that she used whatever she has given her, she's given it back to him. I'm telling you that whenever we get in God's presence, uh, it's time for us to be willing to withhold nothing from God. Uh, that I, I came seeking him today. Uh, and, and I'm going to tell you the truth, Linda, this is to this, this is to this. We need to know, if you, if you have to regret not to seek in God, you need to begin seeking. Yes, yes. Uh, the answer to your situation is God has that answer. Yes. Whatever that situation is, the Lord has that answer. Our ah, Lord have mercy. Either God will change it or he'll change you. Our yes. oh, Lord have mercy. One or the other, God will change that situation or he'll change you to be able to deal with that situation. Yes. Whatever it takes. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Women came, the Bible said they came and they were seeking the Lord. They were seeking the Lord. And the angel acknowledged such when he saw them. He said, I know, I know who you're seeking. I know, I know. Don't get scared. Don't, don't, don't be scared. Uh, Lord, I know who you're seeking. You came because today you're seeking the Lord. Uh, he was crucified, but I came to tell you that today he has risen. He has risen. He is no longer here, but he has risen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. As we seek the Lord, as we seek the Lord, as we seek the Lord in our lives. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I just can't talk about wanting to be saved. I can't just talk about wanting to be saved. I got to be about wanting to be saved. Lord, what, what does it take for me to have salvation? Then whatever it takes for me to have salvation, whatever I have to do, then I have to be willing to do that. Yes, I can indulge myself in the pleasures of sin for a season. That's right. Uh, but but, but I, what I'm telling you, that if you have nothing to look forward to. If I seek the Lord and, and, and obtain Him uh, and get my life hid in Christ, oh Lord, have mercy, then I have a future. I got a future. I got life. God is going to give me something. He's going to give me life. He's going to give me life eternal. Oh, Lord, I just thank you for being a good God, too. And I thank God for blessing us yeah, even today. Stand with me right now. Stand with me right now. Thank you. Thank you.